President Putin says he's willing to work with the U.S. and other countries to stop these cyber attacks. Do you have any reason to believe that? Well, I mean, listen, I think Putin's overarching goal is to be considered, you know, a peer to the United States, a global superpower who didn't lose the Cold War um, and is now sitting next to us um, at the same level. And and so, of course, he's going to say that. But the truth is, he keeps these organizations warm in order to get at us kind of under the surface. And until he deals with that, um, I'm not sure that we should be going into this as if he's just another ally or partner. That said, we do need to do something about cyber attacks. I mean, the last couple of weeks have driven home for the American people. They've attacked our gas. They've attacked our meat. They've attacked our video games. I mean, it's it's hitting the average person. So they want to know that, you know, when Biden's over talking to NATO, that we're talking about how we're going to amp this up in something that looks more like arms control than just kind of a one-off diplomatic, diplomatic reaction to each and every attack. Okay, then we've seen how vulnerable we are over the last few months to cyber and ransomware attacks. Do you think our government gets it now? And if so, what do we need to do? Well, I think it was super interesting to see the law enforcement reaction to the attack on the Colonial Pipeline. And, you know, I'm sure most Americans felt pretty darn good that we were able to get half the money back from the people who ransomed it from Colonial because of some really great spade work by the FBI. Um, We need to increase our capability on that level. We need to make ourselves more resilient here at home and make sure all of our companies are protecting themselves. Um, But I do think the American people really feel like, you know, what's how are we punching back? They want to feel like there's a reaction um, and that it's effective. So, I, you know, it's new type of warfare. It's not planes and tanks like the old Cold War. It's cyber tools. It's stuff that use space. And I think that we are still adapting our doctrine to deal with it. And what do you want that doctrine to be? If they do it to us, we do it right back to them, because thus far, it's just about us getting the money back or trying to protect ourselves. But we're not punching. At least doesn't seem that way. Right. Well, of course, there's stuff that goes on below the surface on a classified basis, which we don't talk about. But you're right. I think the American people are just sort of like, where's the beef? You know, how come I can't feel like we're pushing back? And it's because Americans aren't typically used to their government going and, you know, screwing with a civilian organization in another country. That's not typically how we fight. So I do think some sort of arms control regime, some sort of big strategic plan to deal with this so that there's more sanctions, there's more punishment. They feel the pain in places like Russia or China if they let groups operate from their soil. They need to feel it. If you had President Biden's ear just before he went into this summit with Putin, What would you say is the one message he absolutely has to get across? Just that there are very firm sticks to negative behavior. That we, of course, want to work with the the Russians wherever we can. We did it the entire time of the Cold War. Um, We always kept talking to them. But there are going to be real consequences for them, the Chinese, if they break these international norms and standards. And we have to back that up, right? We can't say it and not do it. Um, So that's if I were with President Biden right now, that's what I'd be saying.